3, The Dancing OT. Today we are going to be talking about adaptation and safety when using dance in your intervention sessions. CP does not present the same in all individuals, and therefore there is no one-size-fits-all protocol when using dance in your interventions. Fortunately, occupational therapists are already skilled at modifying activities. It'll be beneficial for the OT to come prepared to grade up or grade down any activity you have prepared in order to meet the individual at their just right challenge. For example, if you find that the individual you are working with has already mastered a routine in standing, you can have them try doing the movements quicker, bigger, or further outside of their base of support. As always, therapists should adhere to any contraindications or precautions as necessary with the individuals they are working with in order to maintain safety. In a group setting, it is always good to have another set of eyes or helping hands such as a volunteer, caregiver, or family member in order to keep an eye on the group and address any safety concerns. The OT can focus on orchestrating and leading the group and the volunteer can keep out for any safety concerns during movement and transitions. In addition, when engaging in activities that move across the floor, the volunteer can focus on pushing the wheelchairs while the individual can focus on arm movements. Keep in mind that some individuals might be more reserved when engaging in dance and intervention sessions and may prefer to sit on the sidelines. Find creative ways to engage those individuals, such as clapping along to the beat. You may also find that the dance style you are using may not be appealing or culturally relevant to the clients you are working with. Take opportunities to have discussions to find out what dance styles, music, are most appealing to the people in order to maintain engagement. Appealing to those interests might make individuals who aren't as inclined to participate more willing to join in. Dance is meant for everyone, and it is our job to make sure that it is safe and enjoyable for all who wish to join. Thank you for watching and joining me on the journey to independent dance. Please leave any suggestions in the comments below for future videos.